Good morning, it's Coach Maria. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I decided that every morning we're gonna do that same routine of the side to sides with the hand weights of your choice, two bottles of water without anything in your hands. Do you have some wrist weights? Do you have some ankle weights? Whatever you have, let's go. So we just gotta go rock it from side to side. Great way to warm up the entire body. Holding that core nice and tight. It's a great way to build up your arms. It's a great way to um, work these muscles back here. Calf muscles. It's a great way to loosen up that neck. Okay, that's the whole body. <laughs> it's a great way to loosen up your, your lower back, all right? So, let's go. Butterflies. Two, three, hold that core in four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's punch. One, two, three, four, five, breathe. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Lift it up. One, two, <laughs> three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's curl. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Give it a rest. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's go ahead and work it. Back here. Woo! And let's go ahead and lift it up and work those shoulders. Breathe. Hold that core nice and tight. Woo! Feel that burn in your shoulders? All right, let's do a nice middle stance. I like to go down all the way down first, nice and deep. Then I come up, middle stance from Taekwondo. <laughs> Get some punches in. I exaggerate like this, just to really stretch out my lower back. And then after I do that, of course, I'm holding my core in nice and tight. Then I'll do real forward punches with or without the weight. Breathe. All right, let's go. Do a quick stretch out on that back. My favorite stretch among many. And of course, Journey Girl's gonna come help. <laughs> no. All right, that's done. Get on out of here. Let's get organized. Let's go, let's go. All right, turn that down some. Got your journal, notebook, planner, phone app. <laughs> what do you like to use? What do you prefer? Comment, do you prefer paper, digital, or are you like me? Do you prefer both? <laughs> I prefer both. All right, take a few minutes. Go on ahead, pause me. Take your brain dump from last night. Organize your day, put all of your activities on assignment, give it a time. It might not always happen exactly as you plan it, but at least you have a plan because you want to plan your day so that your day doesn't run you. You want to run your day so your day doesn't run you. So that's what happens when you plan. 
<laughs> at least you have a way to track what you're doing, see what you've got done, see what needs to get done, and that way nothing falls through the crack, and you can be a woman of your word because you don't leave something hanging or someone hanging, <laughs> right? You wanna make your appointments. You wanna be considerate of others' time and yours, right? So go ahead and take a minute, pause me. I'm not going to pause it, just pause me. So when you come back, let's talk about eye makeup remover. This is my skincare tip. Eye makeup remover. My brand of choice is Mary Kay Oil Free Eye Makeup Remover. It's amazing. It has a gentle cleanser and a conditioner in it. So the conditioner conditions your lashes and your brows so that that hair stays nice and soft and, and supple, if you will. <laughs> Doesn't get, you know, brittle. Um, so that they stay nice and healthy. Shake it. Squirt a little on your cotton round and you remove gently, very gently around this delicate tissue. Gently remove your eye makeup. You just hold it on there for a few seconds so it can just break it down, break down the mascara. Gently remove it and then go, oh girl, stop. And then gently wash your face. All right, so that is my skincare tip. It's very important that you remove your eye makeup every night, <clears throat> if you wear it. When you go to sleep with eye makeup on, you know you know that there, there are little things that, that are on us all the time. Well, um, if you really want them crawling around up there, those little tiny micro mites, keep, the, keep that mascara on. <laughs> I recommend you remove it so that you don't have those little things up there chewing on your eye makeup. So use your eye makeup remover. Hey, I'm gonna put my Mary Kay link in the description. What the heck? If you're gonna get it from somebody, you might as well get it from me. <laughs> let's go. All right, so let's do today's devotion. <clears throat> All right. We are on the next day of godly goals. Godly goals. This life is short. This world, not our home. <laughs> so why would we spend our energy on goals when their impact ends here? Here's the truth. You will always have an opportunity to take the glory for your own achievements. You will have many chances to make it about you. <laughs> the success will feel good. It will be easy to delusion yourself to believe that you earned it and that you deserve the credit. But the work you do will also present an opportunity for you to give God glory. Passing the glory will likely be your responsibility. It will require courage and humility, but we must remember that God's messages gets muddled to those around us when we keep the glory for ourselves. The choice we make matters. So before the applause gets enticing, let's intentionally get ahead of ourselves in every goal we set. When we, when you reach your goal, how will you give God the glory? As you work toward the goal, how will you be intentional to ensure that those around you are consistently reminded of Jesus? in your pursuit. Let's pray. God, thank you for your willingness to use us. We know that our life here is brief and that we are created to bring you glory. We know you've given us the assignment to live for you and tell others about you. We beg you, take the glory for everything we do here. Use us, but you stay in the spotlight. Mm, we love you. Amen. Blessings, my friend. Have an absolutely fantastic day. Thank you for jumping on. Thank you for liking. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for sharing. Make sure your friends get some morning motivation. And um, I hope to see you in the Becoming 
group coaching starting real soon. Today is March 1st, 2024. I am going on an international trip this month. So I decided I will start the actual group coaching um, in April, but everyone gets three private coaching sessions. So I would love to get those started ASAP and then jump into the group when I return. Um, so, hey, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Blessings, bye-bye.